gosh, Ooh. that game. I was on the other side of the field, DJ, during that game watching it happen, and I had a shocked Ole Miss fans behind me. <laughs> they were speechless, and they were talking so much trash before that oh, yeah. play. It was unreal. It still gives me, honestly, yeah, goosebumps thinking sure about it. I'm pretty sure I broke all protocol when it comes to media on the field. <laughs> I think I ran on the field. It was, yeah. it was an exciting time. Great times here at Ole Miss, but, you know, we're taking a walk down the Walk of Champions right now. Super cool. The Grove mm-hmm. is where it needs to be, and uh, like I said, we just left Jane, and she just felt, she feels like my mom here in Old Miss. She's you have great. More on moms. You know what? We're really excited to kind of showcase football moms. You know what that's like. Oh, moms yeah. dedicate so much time and love to their sons who play football, so we wanted to talk to some. The first one we're talking to is a little special. She gets, she's uh, lives in Fayetteville, mm-hmm. Jennifer Clary, and of course she gets to watch her son play right down the street, so nice. a very special thing for her. Being a football mom, you do get to... I guess, see behind the curtain of what's going on. Jennifer Clary has watched her son Ty live his dream as a part of the Arkansas football team. He had always wanted to go and be a Razorback as, since he was little. Ty got a taste of football at the Boys and Girls Club and then started playing Pee Wee in fourth grade in Farmington. Funny story, his first uh, game that he played, he was real nervous and anxious and excited and he's um, out on the field in the huddle and all of a sudden he throws up all over his coach's shoes and so he has done that ever since the fourth grade he throws up before every game clary has watched her son's athleticism and unique pregame ritual take his football career from peewee to junior high and high school and now arkansas when he got uh, an offer to be a preferred walk-on here at the university um i was overjoyed and i know ty was and so we were so happy for him that he that he'd been given that opportunity and he made the most of it i'll never forget we josh and i were sitting in bed and uh this was late well i guess mid-august and we get the phone call and it rang up on my phone coach Bielema, and we're like oh my gosh ty's hurt something's happened and he said you know josh jennifer i just want you to know how much how well ty is doing and he's going to start in our first game and we dead silence because <laughs> we didn't know what to say it was so exciting we were so proud of ty since then it's been a crazy ride with ups and downs she says for the most part she's a silent cheer in the stands but being a football mom has given her a different perspective i've learned not to go on uh some of the blogs and things like that it, i did one time and th- that was enough <laughs> so. her job is to be there for her son at each game whether he needs her or not but she also also enjoys being a second mom for his teammates when they need her. Some of the players have asked me, you know, to have, how do you mail a letter? How do I get this package to the post office? Like, I'll run by and get it for you, no problem. <laughs> You know, I love it. When I was talking to Jennifer, Ty was over for dinner as well, and he kind of does that from time to time, but she told me she's so proud of the young man her son has become over the years. You know, he's a little bit of a mama's boy, she yeah. admitted, so now he's being able to do his own laundry. He can grocery shop. Yeah. Did some. He said he got some of those meal delivery kits and has learned how to cook, yes. so she has seen Ty blossom from the freshman that he was to now a junior. I like it. You know, growing up from Bobby Boucher to a grown man, exactly. you know, you got to love his mama, mm-hmm. but hey, I can cook too now. You yeah. can. I don't do my own laundry. I'm Okay. Yes, All mom, right. Big shout out to you. But uh, <laughs> that's some great stuff. We're about to go to break when we come back. We got much more for you here on the Pig Trail Nation Game Day show. Tara's going to have your.